This is one of the more important tutorials, especially at the beginning, setting up a custom workspace. There's two reasons behind this. One, I honestly think it is the most efficient way to lay out Photoshop and to work. It's based off of a Photoshop uh, Adobe guy named Deke McClellan. And also, since I have my workspace set up like this, if you want to easy, easily follow along with my tutorials, you want yours to match, all right? So that's the secondary reason. So here's the deal. We have all of these panels over here, right? And I want to make sure you're in the right spot that you're in essentials and you're starting close to where I'm starting. So up here in the upper right, there's choose a workspace and you want to click on essentials. And then you also want to reset essentials just to get it back to new. Now, let's say yours doesn't quite look like mine. That's fine. The reason is it kind of adjusts based on your screen resolution and your screen size. You may have panels arranged in a different way. You may have some popped up in a different order, whatever it may be. It's fine. You'll walk through with me, get rid of the ones we don't need, add the ones we need, and by the time we're done, we should be on the same page. The biggest flaw with this current setup is one, we don't need learn because you're going to learn with me. And two, look at this, one column, two column, three columns. That takes over a third of our workspace really limiting where we can design. So let's pull off learn. Let's start with that. Let's get rid of learn. We don't need that. That automatically shrinks our panel space, right? Gives us a wider work area. So that's one. Let's take libraries and drop that down here into the layers workspace panel area all the way to the right you can see it's blue and to the right of paths i'm going to let go again now we're getting more workspace right we're down down to one skinnier uh, one column and a skinny column we want to have layers as our first tab within this group okay next thing we need to do is let's take properties and adjustments and we're going to move these in the skinny bar right like this oops we want it so they're within each other's a little thin line little thin line we want these grouped together all right so we're going to have history adjustments properties this kind of got wonky our most important workspace panel in all of Photoshop is layers. Layers is the most important thing we're going to be dealing with. So we want it really long as possible because you're going to have multiple layers going on. So I'm going to drag this up and I'm going to make the color one as small as it will go and we want layers super long. And you'll see once you start working in Photoshop why that's important. Let's go in and we're going to add some more stuff. So up here under window, these are all possible panels that we can have open and arranged in our workspace. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pick styles. And I don't want styles sticking out over here. I want styles to the right of swatches. So once that's blue, I want color as my first tab again. So we want to keep that stretch this up just in case it went down at all. Next up, let's go to window. We're going to come into window a lot. So just follow with me window actions and that's fine we want it right below history that's a good spot we want to add histogram and info so we're going to come in here window and histogram and you can see right here we have histogram navigator we want to also add window and info when we want info not by itself but drag it up so it's below histogram. Next up, window brushes. All right, that's going to give us brushes and brush presets, which is fine. We want to add to that little group window clone source. It's going to be by itself. Move it up into brushes. Next, we want some type tools, so we're going to go window, 
and we're going to come and we are going to look for character. That's going to give us character and paragraph. Then we want to add window layer comps. And it's going to give us layer comps and notes. We want both of those. We want to move navigator all the way down here to the bottom. And these adjustments and properties, I'm going to move that up above brushes. And oops, I'm going to mess that up a little bit. We don't want them inside of brushes. We want them above brushes. So make sure that they're separated by that little line. So we have, as a review, history, actions, histogram, info, adjustments, properties, brush settings, brushes, clone source, character, paragraph, layer comps, notes, and navigator. I also want my right panel area to be wider so that when you have um, longer layer names or effects or something going on, you can kind of see them easier. So there's not a specific amount to drag it out, just drag it out a little bit and make it a little bit wider like that. And also remember we want to have color and layers as our first tabs before we save this workspace. Another couple things just really quick, right? We keep this narrow. We don't use these as often and we want as much workspace here as we can get, but you can pop those out, right? And see them all at once, close them. When, and you'll learn the icons eventually. And in the meantime, you can click on them and open them like that, all right? Anyhow, we got it saved, set up like this. If yours is set up this way, we want to um, save it so we can uh, make sure this, don't have to do all that work again. So let's come up to our workspace panel up here and then the down arrow. And we're gonna select new workspace. And let's call that graphic arts or you can call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it graphic arts because that's the class we're in. And I'm gonna click save. And we're almost done. Since we rearranged everything while we were originally on essentials, I wanna reset essentials back to scratch just in case you need it and just to kind of show you how reset works. So come back up to that workspace menu, click on essentials. It looks exactly the same because that's the one we use when we move stuff around, but we want to go back to where it was at the beginning. So down arrow and reset. And last step, click on graphic arts. So we're back to how you're gonna work and follow along with me and have the optimal, in my opinion, set up for working in Photoshop.